Hey guys, this is Dorian Day and welcome to Massive In Depth number one. If you've seen some of my other videos, you probably know how obsessed I am with Serum, and you might be wondering why I'm doing a series on Massive. Well, the biggest reason I'm doing a series on Massive is because I appreciate and respect Massive for its place in electronic music history. It shaped the landscape both in terms of its impact on the sound of dance music and the expectation of a modern, modern synthesizer. Now, after spending a solid month working in Serum, I'm more than assured that it will be the source of tomorrow's sound, just as Massive was before it. However, I've gone back to Massive recently to consolidate my preset library into a pack for Sick Twisted Minds and to gain some inspiration on how to work with Serum as we move into a new era of sound design. At first, I was really let down listening to my old presets. Uh, I felt like I was listening to something that time had passed. Even as I heard the sounds of my favorite tracks play, I couldn't help but feel that Massive was now a relic. And the truth is, it is a relic. Though Massive Time has come and gone as a new age of synthesis platform like Serum and Harmer have come to market, Massive Sound will always permeate the musical landscape. For decades, people will listen to the iconic EDM songs of the last six years and wonder how that sound was made. And to an extent, only Massive will, ev will ever truly sound like Massive. And it's the search for that sound in producers for generations to come that make Massive an inescapable legend in music production. Like other legendary audio gear, from the SSL console to the Roland JP8000, Massive will impart the nostalgic gear lust in future producers looking to get that retro sound that this gear does today. Without further ado, let's get started. So what is Massive? Well, according to the Quick Start Guide, Massive is a flexible poly polyphonic synthesizer using dynamic wavetable oscillators. Uh, in not so many words, that means Massive makes sound by playing short samples very quickly called waveframes that are collected in wavetables. This is very similar, if not exactly, how Serum produces sound. Massive is split up, split up into six sections, plus the browser bar at the top. In the browser bar, you can see the file menu for preset operations, as well as MIDI and file, br uh, file browser operations, such as setting um, your preset folders, MIDI controllers, and general information, like a default author. The other six sections are the oscillator section on the far left with three wavetable oscillators, a modulation oscillator, a noise oscillator, and a feedback knob. Next is the filter section with two multi-mode filters that can be mixed between serial and parallel configurations, and the filters can then be mixed in volume. Next is the output section with the amp, the pan, bypass, master effects, and equalizer, as well as the master volume. Next is the insert effects section, which allows you to set effects inside of massive signal chain. Next, we have the center window with four envelopes and four multi-modulators that can be either set as LFOs, performers, or steppers. Next, we have the key tracking for the pitch and the key tracking for the filter. The voicing section, which has unison and detuning controls, as well as pan and wavetable uh, controls, and the legato and legato set, uh, controls. Next, we have routing to change some of the internal audio routing settings, including where the internal audio effects are. And finally, we have a global tab with some global settings. Next, we have the macro bank with eight macro knobs to control any automatable parameter inside of Massive, as well as key tracking, velocity, aftertouch, and random. Now with that, I'm going to wrap up this Massive in depth. Thanks for watching.